In order to have the ability to save your form correctly, you're going to need to integrate your email provider because after all, aren't you making this page to collect an email in one way or another? So I already had my email provider connected. I showed you over here where that's located. So when you click on the email part of it, it's under integration settings over here on the left. In order to get your email provider to show up there, when you're on your myleadpages.net, when you're up here on the top, you have to click on your account, you click on integrations over here, and then you can see what options you have for integrations on this page. So I have MailChimp connected. In order to connect this, I had to generate an API key that I showed you before, and then I clicked on my MailChimp account here, I connected it and then I put double opt-in enabled so that when someone subscribes using my form, then MailChimp fires out that double opt-in email. So what I've got then, I've got MailChimp integrated. Well, if you have a different service, like something like Aweber, you click on it and then you hit connect, it will give you instructions to access the account. So you can see here, the way Aweber integrates, it requires an actual sign-in. So if I go back over here and choose a different provider, you can see the options for that. So if I choose, I am not up on that many of these. There are exact copy-paste integrations you can have to produce HTML5 forms. You can copy and paste that way. If you have, say, get response over here, you could just put in the API key. This is just what the MailChimp one looks like. You just need the API key and you drop it in there and hit connect. If you have Infusionsoft, you put your account name and your API key in there. But you just click on it, whatever it says to do, you follow the instructions and hit connect. Whatever pop-up comes in, you sign in and do what it asks you to do. Once it says connected then, you can see the way mine is connected here. Once it says connected, then you'll be able to start actually collecting email addresses with your forms. You'll be able to save it, and then that's when the fun part and the real work continues.